What's going on? Oh. It's not what it looks like. All right, it is what it looks like, but I can explain. I, I don't build... I I I'm lost for words. This is... Highly inappropriate. I, I get that. I can't believe someone could be this... I, I mean, what? Why? Why would you do this? Look, nothing I say can make you feel any better about this. I, I feel betrayed. I mean, how could you do this to me, Jeff? You knew how much she meant to me. What? Whoa, Jeff! Calm down. Calm down. Don't tell me to. You backstabbing bastard, you! She was meant for me! I can't believe you've gone behind my back and fucked her! How could you? Uh, again! I can't believe you've betrayed me again! I I'm sorry! Y you're sorry? What, like you were last time? I, I don't know which is worse. No, this definitely is. I mean, us killing Doris in the first place. You know, you helping and all that. That was supposed to be you making it up to me after what happened with Beryl! No. I mean, I... Doris, yeah. I like to show the barrel, damn it. You knew how much I wanted her. I confided in you. You knew how I spent over six months by her hospital bed persuading her to be buried when she was adamant about being cremated. And you know what happens? Well, of course you do. I finally persuade her. And then you nip in there during my three-month decaying period and you dig her up and you fuck... No, 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 don't, don't. I didn't mean to hurt you. Derek, it was an open coffin. You know I'm weak when it comes to those. God, her face looks so... so peaceful and pure. I, I, I couldn't get her out of my head. You... I want to kill you! Shh! Are you... Don't shush me. Why are you shouting? What if someone hears us? We're not exactly in a favourable position, you know. We're a bit vulnerable. We're vulnerable. You're the one inside her, and there's definitely no evidence that I helped kill her. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when the police come to search my... No, wait a minute. Our flat? Well, it won't be our flat for long. What do you mean? I'm done. Done with this friendship. Finished. Uh, I won't be able to afford the rent on my own. No, you should have been thinking with this rather than your penis. You've ruined a good thing, Jeff. I'm telling you. You won't be able to find a flatmate who will accept you for who you are. Even in your home, you're going to be hiding a big secret from now on. You won't be able to enjoy the freedom I give you. The comfort. I think you're overreacting. I, I was in there life for a minute. Two at most. You could still go there. Oh, yeah, great. You know it's not the same. She's fragile. I don't want to even imagine how many bones you broke. I didn't hear a snap or a crack or anything like that. If anything, I loosened her up and you didn't have to do the digging. You've actually got a pretty good deal here, you know. I suppose that's kind of true. You see, it's not that bad. Whoa, what? Jeff! Oh, shit! Fucking hell! Oh, I am so, so sorry. I don't believe it! You still could, you know. Her head has fallen off. Yeah, but everything else down below is all right. Other than her arm. Well, I mean, her shoulder's dislocated, but... Well, I'm sure you could get around that. What kind of sicko do you think I am? Sorry. She's a lot more fragile than I thought. This is a situation I could not fathom. Me neither. And then I've never done the research. You can't go to your local library and get a book out of necrophilia, can you? <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> Just leave everything to me. I'll bury it. Gee, thanks.
Are we okay? I don't know. In fact, no, we're not. How can I trust you? This, well, it hurts. What can I do to make it up to you? I'll kill another. No, no, in fact, I'll kill three more old ladies. Literally, you pick who, I knock them off, bury them, and in three to six months, you can go crazy. <laughs> really? Yeah, anyone apart from my mum. Obvious reasons, otherwise I'm open. We're golden. Would you be comfortable with that, though? I mean, after Doris, well, we talked about how we felt, you know. Because she was the first we'd ever killed. And, uh, and like me, you were... Uh, no, I, I did, I did. I, I felt bad, but... After tonight, well... It's better than going into graveyards and dodging security and all that. Now, I kind of think it's worth it. Do what you can to survive. Stay out of trouble. There's some logic there, I suppose. Yeah. You'd really do that for me? Of course. You're my best friend. I've betrayed you. I feel horrible. And I know that I've been weak. But I love you. <gasps> you love me? Well, not in a gay way. <gasps> of course not. <laughs> 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 it's not like we've been digging up old men. <laughs> so you'll stay? I'll stay. <sighs> okay. Please stop hugging me. Right. You should be going now. Like I said, leave it to me. You needn't concern yourself with any of this. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Thanks. Uh -huh. I'll... Mm -hmm. What's going on in there? It, it, it's just... You don't want me to? You said she was loosening up, right? Uh, yeah, nicely. Uh, and it's uh, kind of been a, a barren run of late. Mm -hmm. uh, a bit dry, so... No, oh, you need not say any more. No, I get it. I shall leave you two in peace. No, no, wait. What? There is the issue with the head. Ah, yes, the head. Okay, well, there's not a lot I can do about that. Hmm? I mean, how do we... How do we attach it? It doesn't necessarily have to be attached. You could hold it in place while I... No. No. no definitely well, not. Well, you know, if, if I'm not too rigorous, well, it, it's not ideal, but, but it's, it's better than, you know... You could hold it close to the top of the body while I do it, and then I still get Doris, which is just, because otherwise she died for... Well, it's a nonsensical murder. No. No, I can't. I, I, I don't want to see you like that. It, it would be weird. And doing dead women isn't. M maybe you don't want to make it up to me, then. Maybe it was just bullshit. More bullshit. Let's just talk this through, shall we? You want me to sit, like, right opposite you? Watching you with some rat-faced sex face going at it while I hold a torn-off head in place. But you'll happily kill old ladies instead? Oh. Oh, you know what? I've had enough of this. You're full of shit. Can't even trust you anyway. Six. I'll kill six old ladies. Six now, is it? Except my mum. Only exception. Well, that's good. 
Because your Aunt Josie is pretty tasty. All right, and apart from her, but otherwise anyone else. A lot of terms and conditions creeping in. I'm off to pack. And don't ever think about trying to confide in me or boast about your conquests, or ask me questions like, have you ever managed to get effective oral from a corpse or anything like that again? We're done. I'll do it. You will? For you. You're my best friend. I don't want to lose you. I, I don't want to lose you either. Well, come on then. Let's get down into this hole. She's held up pretty well for an old girl. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs>